So let's have a look at the uh, unboxing of the Tomahawk Caboose uh, today. Um, after the unboxing of the ESG32, I was quite interested to see how the uh, Caboose would look like. Um, the first thing that really impressed me is the sizable Jorner. And it's, it is really substantial really really stiff and and big really really big rectangular joiner uh, the wings as you can see here of course joiner is going easily in them and the wings are both hinged on the bottom surface so should be able to slow down the plane substantially so enough throw up for the other arm and plenty of throw down for the flaps to use crow uh, very nice wings i don't know if you can see here inside but the back spar is composite it's not wood Everything is composite. You can see some carbon skin that are very, very sturdy. And the paint scheme is, is really good. I like it. I really like the scheme. Very, very visible. So two ailerons, two, uh, two po servo pocket, one for the flap, one for the aileron. Uh, I'm gonna remove the other wing from the protection and you'll see it's very well pad so it's calm where every protrusion is protected same thing here on the horn that are already installed in the, uh, in the wing very very well packed should be able to reach you without any any issue. Uh, it's provided with servo frame to be glued, so they're wooden servo frame. So those meaning the one from the ailerons, uh, I'm going to be using some Spectrum A7100 uh, thin wing servo, and for the flap, I'm going to use some uh, A5070. So those servo with just a little bit of filing will be able to fit in those servo frame. Of course, a bunch of hardware, clevises and so on. And when it takes, uh, let me take you now to the stab. stab is very very stiff as the wing are I mean, those are short wings but they are not bending much which would be good in flight on the fuselage standpoint it's very very light um, you have some recess here for the uh, what you want to install have several wing, wing plug and the rudder is a pull pull so be careful of those poor pull pull especially when it's hot just be sure of the tension because it can be some major flutter uh, canopy is getting released by uh, music wire just under here the wing steering so you have the canopy there is a, an instrument panel that fits here in the front of the fuse there's a seat pan if you want the scale and the fuselage is fiberglass with a big 
couple of carbon toe layers here on each side are going along. There's a big former here at the base of the fin. And there's a reinforcement here just at the back of the fairings. Come with a ready-made support. So I'll be using here some, uh, what are we using? Using some uh, A6320s, regular uh, size of servos, high torque uh, for the pull pull and for the elevator. So the elevator will be activated by that carbon shaft. So it should be a, a very stiff uh, setup. And uh, We'll go with a power setup, the same power setup that I have in my SG32. So uh, 470 kV motor, here a power 60, 100 amp ESC. And we will be using We'll be using a Torquemin Uni 6 system uh, in the nose with a 1610 uh, RFM uh, carbon prop. So that should be uh, able to get us in the air in no time, about 1800 watts. So a very, very short climb, maybe in between five and 10 second max. Uh, so it will need to be modulated has uh, that's going to be a lot of heat so you don't necessarily want to run that motor for too long of time uh, at a time just because the heat can dissipate in the motor and the motor is going to get somehow warm so it's a, it's a quick overview of uh, that arf and uh, i should be posting a couple of pictures of the build it should be a fairly straightforward build and uh, as soon as it's in flying condition, we, we should have a first flight and I should be able to share you my comment on that. Thank you for watching.